Good afternoon, welcome back to my channel and this is going to be pickups for January 2024 um, So quite a wee bit of bad news in this video as well there's, um, So there's a local second hand shop that I went to I've been going to for a long time, a couple of years, at least three years since doing the, the channel and they are closing down which is a which is a bloody shame because they were nice people, a nice wee shop and I had a nice relationship with them but yeah they're shutting down now and I went in to see them just last week I think it was and they were, they were quite upset but they said just go in the back take whatever you want um, because it's all going away anyway, it's all going to the bin or whatever so I just went in and grabbed a bunch of DVDs that I'll show off really quickly um, got a fair few kind of superhero ones so we got the Hulk, so that's the Eric Banner one um, X-Men Wolverines, X-Men Wolverine Origins X-Men Origins Wolverine, sorry uh, The Amazing Spider-Man uh, Spider-Man 1 and 2 Apocalypse of the Dead Broken Arrow, class film uh, Paradise Lost 7 Pretty sure I've got that already actually Class film, love that film One of my favourites um, Wolf Creek Airplane and Airplane 2 Amityville Horror And Dawn of the Dead So I, they were closing down and they were really upset about it So they told me just to go through the back Take whatever I want he does Grabbed a couple of DVDs off them And then I went to the I went to pick up Jay from school and on the way back I dropped in some money to them because I felt it was going to bad for taking them for nothing so but it was it's quite sad because I, that's I got quite a lot of stuff from from them you used to always hold things back from me and things like that so aye that's a wee shame but anyway from there I went up to the Sunday market up in Air and there was nothing there it was quite a disappointment actually but I did manage to grab a couple more of the um, Disney Infinity figures, which I overpaid for, and I only found out when I went into the air later on that day. So, the first one was the Nova. We got him, because we didn't have him before, and we also got Spider Man, which is really, that's a really cool one. That. And from another stall in the Sunday market, we got a film that I've never seen and I should bloody watch, because everyone says it's brilliant, it's a classic. John Carpenter. Cut myself. Uh, Big Trouble in Little China. I need to give that a watch. Even my dad said it's class, but I've never seen it, so I need to give that a watch at some point. So sorry, they were they were five pound each or two for eight pound, and then I went into CEX later on that day. That wee guy is fifty p in CEX, and Spider Man is two pound in CEX. So definitely lost on them two. It's fine, I don't mind. Next one was this is from my work colleague, so Ainsley gave me a little voucher for CEX. I put an extra couple of extra couple of quid to it, and this is what I got for my Christmas present from Ainsley, which is Persona 4 Golden on the PS Vita. And I've started this already. And the thing is, like these games are super stylish, super super cool like the music's amazing the, the the kind of presentation of it all is just like first class it's brilliant um but it's a bloody slow game i remember i've not even finished persona 5 i started that ages ago um and then something else came along and i put it to the side and i played something i can't remember what it was but i never went back to persona 5 um but I've, i'm going to give this a right good go at the moment i'm just past um the first dungeon so it was y Yukiko's dungeon. Um, uh, what was it? It was a castle, a big castle. You're in a castle. You had to go and find her. She was waiting for her prince charming to come and get her. Um, uh, these games are just super, super like long, big time sinks. That's what they are. Um, recently, I've looked up how long to finish, and this game takes up to like eighty plus hours to finish. So I'm six and a half hours into it. It took me like an hour and a half 
to two hours to forget some of the first fight. Like, honestly, it's just a long game, so much text. I am quite enjoying it though, and I will stick at it because because I know there's I know there's a lot more to it, and I I, I am enjoying it. It is a good game. Next, we'll go to eBay. So eBay, I managed to pick up a bundle of magazines, and I've got more coming, but they haven't arrived yet. So this bundle of three magazines cost ninety nine pence, and then like three pounds. So let's say four pounds they cost me. So we got, I've never heard of this magazine before, and it's called X-Gen. <coughs> Sorry, we've got, bloody, who do we got, who, who do we call him? Malcolm McDowell and um, Skywalker, what's his name? Mark Hamill in the front. That's kind of cool. Never seen this magazine before, but it's nice to put up, for, to, 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 go, no, no, to go up on the wall. So we've got that one. We got PlayStation Plus, so this is from 1995, and it's like very, really, really early. Obviously, the Alien trilogy in the front is fantastic. I love Alien Plus. I think that's pretty cool. But I, looking back in these magazines, are just it's just like a big nostalgia, wait, big wave of nostalgia. It's fantastic. Looking back on all this. And then the next one I got was an Edge magazine from 1996, and James Retro Imports gonna love this one. Look at that! Look how pink that is. That is a fantastic magazine. Hip or hype? Video game marketing comes of age. So in 1996, so in this one you've got the, the PlayStation just about to come out and things like that. And what else is here? Just loads and loads of the N64. N64 launch slips into 1996, so we've got N64 launch in there. Atari Jaguar, like, it's mad looking back and all this sort of stuff. PlayStation Titans grip on Japan. Like, look at that, there's a feature there. PlayStation is just the GOAT, absolute GOAT. Brilliant. So, and another couple of magazines for the magazine wall, and there's more still to come soon. These came from Facebook, so there's a lass in Gurban that runs a Facebook page um, that just kind of like gathers things together from the local area and they give it away for free and these games were on there for free. So first one was Saints Row for the Xbox 360 and um, Saints Row 2 for the Xbox 360. But along with that was also a disc copy only of Saints Row the Third. So we got Saints Row Trilogy. I've never played them before. Um, they seem more like a kind of series that Jay would like, to be honest. Um, but aye, Saints Row Trilogy for for free. And then this one was there. And I was gutted, absolutely gutted. So it's Amazing Spider-Man Two, the Xbox 360. But it <laughs> it wasn't in the right game. But that's fine, I'm not gonna complain, I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go to the door and say, listen, this is no the right game. It was bloody free, do you know what I mean? So anyway, absolutely brilliant. This one here is not really a pickup, it's more of a find. Um so I was helping my mum and dad put stuff on away from Christmas. Or was I bringing it down? I can't remember. And then this fell out of a box and it's um, Advanced Wars 2 for the Game Boy Advance. I already had the game, I've had the game here for ages and ages and ages but this fell out of one of the boxes when I was bringing out Christmas stuff and it's all complete, it's got the tray and everything and it's got the instruction manual it's, it was really cool when I found this because I was like oh I've got that game at home so now I managed to piece it all together and got I think I think my only fully complete Game Boy Advance game I know there's a few people that do like these. I've never really played them before. My little brother likes them. I know Super Nintendo, he likes them as well. Um, but who else? Champion 2D Rob, I think he put it up. That he got the kind of like remake of it. The 1 and 2. I think he put it up a while ago. And then from, sorry, so that was most that was mostly Facebook there. This is another Facebook pickup. Um, and this lassie had loads of games 
like laid out and they were all it was like a hundred quid for the lot or ten pounds each. And there was there was a fair fair few good games in there, but there was two that I I, I was interested in. And I'm always a little bit ap apprehensive getting things on Facebook if they're going to ask them if they're going to uh, post them and then you pay delivery, whatever, blah, blah. So these cost me 20 quid for these two games in their class. The two JRP well, three JRPGs. Um, there's quite a lot of RPGs in this pickups actually, so I'm sure Chicken Phillips and Pixel will be, will be all over it. But the first one was a nice steel book of Tales of Zillia 2, Day 1 edition. Um, it's a little bit ripped up in this corner here, but it's fine. The steel book is absolutely lovely, a lovely steel book. Um, a new steel book for the collection. I've not played this Tales, Tales game, I've not played many Tales games, I think I've played three. Finished two, played three. But aye, Tales of Zillia. So I'm guessing you need to play Sales of Zillia 1 first, but I don't have that, I don't think so anyway. And then this one's really cool because it's like a double pack, well a triple pack I guess, because it's Tales of Graces and Tales of Symphonia, Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. So I've got Tales of Graces already up for the PS3 and I've got Tales of Symphonia recently for the Xbox One, the remastered, but this Tales of Symphonia comes with its sequel, Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, so I don't know if that's on the Xbox one or not, but it's in here, so that's kind of cool. So it's got Tales of Graces F, Symphonia, and the sequel to Symphonia. So these two games were £10 each, I thought that was a bloody bargain, especially when you go on to like CEX or eBay or whatever, and they go for a lot more than £10 each. Next we'll go to my pal's right, my pal Ryan's shop. I went in to see him just after Christmas, um, to see how he was, see what games he had in and things like that. And I picked up four games. He wanted a five for them. Um, but I gave him a tenner because it was a season of goodwill. So I gave him a tenner. Um, the first game I picked up was Enemy Manager on the PlayStation One. I remember somebody was talking about this recently, and I can't, I cannot remember who it was. But I stuck this on. I was going to give it. I was going to start playing like a a file with Rangers, but you can only get the English teams in this one. The, the very first time the manager was only the English Premiership you could go, or the English, I think you get Championship in the League One and things like that, but you couldn't get Scottish teams. So from that I started to play LMA Manager 2006, so I've got a file going just now on LMA Manager 2006 and Rangers. They're quite hard games, the only managers, and they're not as good as like the football managers. But those were the championship manager, football manager. Those were the best. Um, next one I got from Ryan was um, so this game here. I was talking to Marcus at Dad and Lads on the day when I when I'm up to the shop. I remember I was messaging Marcus, Dad and Lads, and when I went into the shop, this was the first game I seen. I thought I'll have to get that just because I was talking to Marcus. And it's Jaws Unleashed. It's probably utter shite, but I picked it up anyway. Um, next one was Ratchet and Clank Q Force. So I think this is like a this is like a co-op Ratchet and Clank game. I've never played it before. I've not played many Ratchet and Clanks to be honest. I've played um, sorry, I've only finished Ratchet and Clank on the PS4, which was the remaster. And it was bloody fantastic. Oh no, so I played Ratchet and Clank Rift and Time as well. So the new one on PS5, that is brilliant as well. And then we picked up Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. I don't know why I didn't have this. I used to have it, I'm sure I did, but I've not got it anymore. Well, I've got it now. But Metal Gear Solid 3, man, Snake Eater. What a bloody game this is. Absolutely fantastic. All complete as well. Oh. Next we've got PlayStation, sorry, next we went to, what's it called, Cash Generator, Cash Converters, whatever they're called. So we've got another Vita game, which is Little Big Planet PS Vita, um, for £5, I thought that was alright, because I don't have many Vita games, I mean I've got, picked up Persona this month as well, 
and I've got a few more, but I thought I'd start bulking my PS Vita collection a wee bit. So we've got Little Big Planet for the Vita, and then we got Gun Grave VR. Oh, I can't wait to play this. This is going to be a class game. I do like the Gun Grave games. I've only played one of them actually on the PS One, but they're, they're just really, they're just really kind of slow but bomb bombastic kind of shooting and just madness, like swinging about a big coffin and all that and just smashing up enemies. They're, they're really cool games and I do want to play it on VR as well so I, I need to give this a go. The, the unfortunate thing is that PS VR games are not compatible on PS VR 2 as far as I know. I've not, I've not tried it but I've read that you can't play PSVR games on the PSVR 2 which is a shame, it means I'm going to have to hook up the PSVR 1 to give this a go but I will, I'm going to get this one played this year for sure and then the last of the pickups is going to be from Game, so Games 3 for 2 and it's a bloody shame because they who's told me recently Paul Dink Northerner, he told me recently, and then Scott the Glory Hunter mentioned it in his last video as well. The game is stopping the 3 for 2 offering. So they're sorry, they're stopping their the pre-owned offering, which is a bloody crying shame because I love a 3 for 2. Like that was my bloody bread and butter, and now it's going. Um I've not been up in a while, so next time I'll go up I'm gonna find out what what the score is and talk to the people in the shop and things like that but it's a bloody shame I'm gutted so the first three for two we got was so three games at a fiver so a tenner for these three games and it was Godfall I remember this was one of the first games that I seen for the PS5 um, it was one of the, the launch games I'm pretty sure and it looked absolutely amazing but I don't think it got very well received. I don't think the reviews were good. I don't think I don't think it was a great game, but I just wanted to grab it anyway because I I remember seeing it and I remember thinking it looked absolutely stunning. So maybe I'll give that a go at some point. Because it does, it looks it looks cool as hell. Um Immortals Phoenix Rising. So I had this already on the Xbox One, but I've moved a lot of my Xbox One stuff up to the loft to be honest. Um so I grabbed it again because I do think this will be pretty cool and I think a lot of people, I think it did kind of uh, steal a bit or quite a bit from like Breath of the Wild but I just think this is going to have a lot more character to it, a lot more kind of a lot more kind of meaning to it, like it looks a bit more fleshed out than Breath of the Wild if that makes sense um, and I've heard that it's a funny game as well, there's a lot of humour, uh, the writing's supposed to be the performances are supposed to be really really good in that game and then this one here I'm pretty sure Champ Champion 2D Rob again I'm pretty sure he mentioned this game a while back and it's um, Blue Fire um, I don't know much about it but looking at the back it's got like a nice kind of art style to it um, uh, it's a nice kind of I don't know if it's is it a chibi kind of art style I don't really know but it looks really nice and it could be a cool one could be a nice little kind of adventure to play through so that was those three there for the container. And then this was the last the last time I visited the game. I picked up these three here. Um, this must have been just after Christmas, I think. Alright, so these three here were $17.99 each. So these are the big kind of games. We got uh, Ghostbusters Remastered. Um, body class, I played this a while ago. And did I play this at my friend's house? I think it was on the PS3. So I think it is the PS3 game, but remastered obviously. And then we got Star Ocean Divine Force. Again, another JRPG. God knows where I'm going to play all these bloody JRPGs. But I did play through Star Ocean First Departure this year. So that was the first game of my 52 game pursuit, was Star Ocean. First Departure, and obviously that's an older game, um, and it kind of shows a wee bit. Obviously the graphics are really nice and everything, but the the, the world and everything was very kind of it was very kind of linear. There wasn't much exploration in the game, um, but I'm guessing this game is going to be a lot lot bigger. 
The only other Star Wars game I have finished is Faithlessness and Integrity. And I, that game got slammed. I mean, when I played it, I didn't have any kind of uh, experience with Star Ocean games, so I didn't mind it that much. But when I did, when I do read into it and things like that, and the people that have played it, that faithlessness and integrity game is supposed to be absolutely shocking. But for me, I thought it was all right. It was a good, it was a good adventure. It was a good one playthrough. But I think this one is going to be really, really good. And then another one I got is another RPG which is Marvel Midnight Suns. I've heard this game is supposed to be really really cool and um, I think it was Dave at PlayStation Access. He said that this was his game of the year in 2022. Is that right? Aye. But aye, looks brilliant and I love my Marvel stuff. Um, and even just in the back you see all the kind of characters there like, oh, it just looks ace. But this is more of a kind of tactical RPG I believe so it's more kind of like XCOM maybe uh, those games don't really gel with me that much because you have to you have to sit there and think and I don't like thinking I just like playing um, but I I think it could be cool I think that could be a game I think I have to be in the right mood to play that game so but I think I'm going to pass that to my little brother first I think he wants to play it he's been He's been asking me about that game. But anyway, that is all my pickups for this month. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.